Hey everybody, it's Kayla in the garden and tonight I'm getting ready to harvest some cauliflower. It is um, hot and it's time for them to go. And I gotta tell you, inside these leaves here are the most amazing cauliflowers that I've ever been able to grow. And just around the corner in the same bed, those cauliflowers are kind of lacking. They're, they're like what I would typically get, okay? Small, already spreading apart, not very appetizing looking, but these, seriously, I wish that, I wish like I could take it to the fair right now and go win my grand prize award. It's, it's, it's that cool, I'm really thrilled. So let me show you here. Um, that's not my prize winner, that's this one actually. So let me unfurl this. And you know that when you start getting a cauliflower um, to form its head, to wrap it up like a Christmas present, pinch the leaves shut. That way the sun is not going to make your cauliflower turn like an appetizing shades of green. Um, uh, I'm so in love with this cauliflower. It looks so amazing. So let's show you here. Here's this one. There he is. Doesn't look so impressive, but wait, wait, wait. There we go. How about that? That could actually do a really good job of feeding us. And I mean, the head is tight. It is a beautiful, nice, creamy color. I am so pleased. Okay, same bed, same dirt, same additions, no difference. Um, watering's pretty much always the same. It's just, it's just a big L bed right here. In fact, you can see where the other uh, cauliflower is. But look at the size, they're all fairly short. Um, I have one cauliflower in here and there's some there's some vague hints but at this point we have 85 degree um, <laughs> we have 85 degree weather uh, heat index um, pushing mid 90s uh, these are done so I'm probably gonna have to end up pulling them so out of this side over here um, just a very small one I'll show that to you here in a second and what's the difference oh I'm so happy you asked because I want to show you check this out All right here's the other one oh hmm. appetizer time not very big and ideal it's cute <laughs> but that's it <laughs> okay this is what I think is the difference this is my cold frame roof so to speak and we designed it to just lay on top of our raised garden beds because we've got a, le a flat ledge built in on all of our beds we can make things like this to just lay down on top so that first cauliflower that i showed you it actually was underneath the cold frame um gosh probably two and a half to three weeks all the cauliflowers are the same variety they were bought from all the same place. Normally I try to start everything from seed, but these were bought um, and they were all planted same time frame the first couple days of April. It is now um, two months later and the only difference is the fact that we put the cold frame over one section of the garden bed and those cauliflower I think got a really great head start with the extra heat, um, the sunshine, what it could provide. And this is just um, some of that clear greenhouse plastic you can pick up at like Home Depot or Lowe's. And then we made a form out of two by fours, put handles on it so it's easier for us to move and um, built in a couple support beams. And uh, that was it. You know, I don't think it uh, costs us more than maybe $50, $60 to get that. And I have the most amazing cauliflower ever. I'm telling you this because I want you to consider the benefits of extending your season, starting earlier or gardening a little bit longer, using things like this to maintain warmth for your plants when they need it. So food for thought. Clearly right now it is summer, it is hot and we do not need this kind of stuff. But come fall, I am so excited for fall. And seriously, I wanna be able to garden into um, November and December and be able to still harvest veggies and cool weather crops. So you'll be seeing cauliflower again in my garden come about probably September, October, can't wait.